Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to talk about dialogue, specifically five tips to writing engaging dialogue that really works. Tip number one is to remember that written dialogue in a book or in a screenplay is not exactly like actual conversation. Real conversation has a lot of filler words or thinking words in it, things like um and ah, and we don't want those in the written word. You want it to feel natural without all of those thinking words, and you want every word to count. Sometimes a less is best. If you cut words and things from your dialogue and then you read through it and it works, that means you never needed those words to begin with. Well, look at the dialogue that you've written and trim it back. Cut some of the words and then read through it out loud. And if it still works, if it still feels natural, you didn't need all those extra words in it. And this flows into number two. And number two is remember subtext. You don't need to blurt everything out in the dialogue. Sometimes what is not being said is makes the dialogue super powerful. It can be super tempting to use dialogue as an information download, and you don't want to do that. One of the really great examples of subtext in dialogue is in uh, The Avengers by Marvel, and you've got Hawkeye and Black Widow, and they're fighting the bad guys. They're fighting these aliens. And Black Widow says, this reminds me of Budapest. And Hawkeye says, you and I remember Budapest much differently, or something of that nature. It gives you an idea that something happened in Budapest, but they don't tell you what happened in Budapest. And it makes the dialogue snappy and fun to listen to. And that's what you want. The mystery and unraveling a story is doing it one page at a time. So you don't want to give too much. Remember subtext. Look at your dialogue and ask yourself if you are giving too much information. Number three is make your dialogue count. Dialogue should move the story forward, not just fill space on the page, because dialogue has a purpose. And dialogue reveals characters, it sets the tone, it sets the scene, and it reveals the theme. Does this dialogue fulfill its purpose? Number four is use dialogue to show the internal and the external conflict. And every story has conflict. In fact, it is the conflict that makes your story move. It's conflict that keeps the reader reading. So make sure that your dialogue shows that conflict. Look at your dialogue and ask yourself, what is the conflict on this page? In fact, you can do this throughout your entire book. What's the conflict? Ask that question a lot. Is it internal? Is it external? There has to be conflict. So look at what you've written and ask yourself, where's the conflict? And number five, is use dialogue to show the uniqueness of every character. You do this by giving every character a unique voice. For example, is your character from the South? Then find out what are some phrases or some terms that they say in the South and add a couple of those in to that character's dialogue to make that character's uniqueness shine in the dialogue. For every character in your book, each one needs to be unique, needs to stand out from the others. And in order to do this, this involves great character development. So this is a topic for another video, but you wanna make sure before you start writing that you have fleshed out your characters, that you have really spent time developing your character because that will make your task of making each character have a unique voice much easier. It's really hard to give a character a unique voice if you don't know that much about the character. So make sure that you do some character development before you start writing. Happy writing everyone and I will catch you in the next video.